Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Delaney. I love thrifting, cats, my plants, home decor, all the good stuff, and welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is kind of another vlog. I know I'm gonna do a thrift haul. I wanna give you guys an update on how our third shop opening went. And yeah, it's not gonna be anything too crazy, and I honestly don't know how long this video will be. Probably not that long, just because I don't have that much going on today, but we'll just get into it. I did my workout. It's currently 10.45, and I already had breakfast before my workout. Did my workout, showered, put away some laundry, and now I'm drinking a little smoothie. Um, I always like to have some protein after a good workout. And um, on my Instagram, somebody messaged me saying that I should do a what I eat in a day video. So let me know down below if that would be interesting to you. You guys know that I'm doing paleo and I really, really like it. And I feel like I've gotten a good grip on it. So like I know what to eat now and I'm experimenting with fun recipes and things like that. So it could be really fun to do like a what I eat in the day video, but I'm not gonna do it if you guys aren't really interested in it. So just let me know down below if that would be something that interests you. And then um, after I film and edit this video, because I'm gonna post this tomorrow, I am gonna go to my friend Emily's house. She is so close to having her baby, so I made her some freezer meals. That way, when she has the baby, it she doesn't have to worry about cooking as much so i'm gonna take her that and i really miss her daughter she has a two-year-old and she's just the cutest thing ever so i want to go play with her and hang out with her and yeah i'll uh, just let you guys know what i get up to today but now i'm going to show you my little thrift haul before i show you the thrift haul look how much stuff i have to price <laughs> i told you guys last video that i was gonna organize all of this and price it well i organized it all but i have not priced it and it's driving me insane like it just takes up so much space and i don't really want to take it to the shop until it's priced or else i fear that it'll never get priced so oh, that's definitely a goal of mine this week Okay, like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a smaller haul. Um, this is just from last week. I only went thrifting one time last week, which is just very rare for me. I feel like I go, I go at least like two to three days a week. Um, and that's kind of how I find so much all the time because I go all the time. And I usually just get a little bit from each store and then it just accumulates into a big haul. Um, but this is all from one store i think i think it's just a local small store i think it's all just one store first up i got this mirror it's really pretty it's just that like plastic kind of wicker look mirror i loved that it was just an oval super lightweight um i could definitely spray paint that i haven't decided if i should spray paint spray paint that or not but we'll see um and i paid she i got a bunch of stuff and she was like how about 15 dollars for all of it so i don't know i don't know how much i paid exactly for it but you get the idea in that same store i got this set of three canisters this one says flour they're all inside there i think there's one that says sugar and the last one i cannot remember what it says but they're all copper super cute they all have like gold detailing um i did wash these and i did use barkeeper's friend which is really good to polish brass and things but they have a little bit of rust on them and they're just not in the best shape so i guess i'll i'll just sell them as is um maybe somebody just wants them for decoration I don't know maybe people can still use them with like some sort of like rust and um deterioration inside i don't really know that much about that so if you could let me know down below if you know um if they're still usable i'm not really sure but um in the store i just picked them up and i didn't really check them over too well and that was my bad next i got a brass bowl always picking up brass you guys know that i got this awesome wicker basket and then I got this really cute wicker basket which I love I love the detail of this it's so unique so pretty I 
I don't know why I just really really like this one I just think it has so many cool details okay next this is not surprising but I found another accordion rack I don't know why but I'm finding these like crazy lately and then I got this it just it's a little basket hangs on the wall good for keys and things like that I got two trivets I have thrifted quite a few of these like wicker trivets and I'm kind of thinking about grouping them all together in a lot and just making them like a pack. I feel like they would probably sell really well if I did that so I might do that. Next I got two brass candlesticks and the last thing I got is this really cool big coil wicker basket i feel like this would be great for kids toys since it's so large and small to the ground so i feel like kids could just come in and grab something out of it i don't know i just really liked that one a lot okay and while i'm sitting here i thought i would give you a little shop update today is tuesday and this video is going up tomorrow and on saturday so just a couple days ago we had our third shop opening if you're new here me and my best friend opened up a little boho shop and it's just kind of more like a pop-up shop that we open once a month or once every other month and um we just gather things collect them and then um like mostly the stuff that I'm showing you here and then um, just let people shop for a couple hours and then prepare for the next one and open again so this was our third one that we've ever done and it went really well I prayed for three things I prayed that Emily could be there because like I said before she's very pregnant and we weren't sure if she would give birth or not and I prayed for no rain and I prayed for a good turnout and all of those things happened so I am really happy and really grateful and I'm just grateful that I even get to do this. It's so, so fun for me. You guys know how fun thrifting is and just collecting these really unique pieces and I just love being able to curate them all and just having other people who are also interested in that come and buy and also just get to benefit and enjoy the things that I find. I just feel so lucky and so blessed and... Um, I'm just so grateful and I'm so grateful I get to do it with my best friend because it just makes it that much more fun. Um, and yeah, so the very first shop that we opened up, we didn't know what to expect. So we were just happy and blown away no matter what. And the second shop, the one that was in April, was just crazy. It was like double the first shop and so many people came and we basically sold out and this one was more like the first shop with less people and I just being totally transparent and honest here I found myself being a little bit disappointed like kind of almost feeling like a failure like oh not that not as many people came this time and then I had to reel back in and realize no you got everything that you prayed for and just I was just counting my blessings and like I was just telling you just realizing how lucky I am I get to do it and if anyone comes at all that's just a blessing in itself and I'm just very very grateful and I know too that it is summertime and this is the first opening we've ever done in summer and I know people are a lot more busy with graduations and weddings and garage sales and the lake and you know all of that stuff so I know that it was maybe less of a turnout because of that but regardless I am thankful and I'm sorry that that was so long-winded I just wanted to be really transparent and honest because I know a lot of you are curious about opening up a shop and you want to do it too so I thought that that insight might help a little bit for you. Okay, now I need to shoot a thumbnail picture and I thought it'd be fun to show you guys because I've never shown you, I don't think. Um, I do this after every time I film. I just lay out my white blanket here and then I will arrange the things that I'm gonna show in the thrift haul and um, put them how I like it. I try to spread them out by color and um, shapes and things like that and I'll show you guys and then I take a picture and I edit it so that way I can have a thumbnail for this video okay so like I said I just spread out the blanket I just like a nice neutral white background and then I will just grab all of my stuff this is obviously a smaller haul and you guys know that 
my other hauls are usually a lot bigger and have a lot more stuff but I might be able to fit everything from the haul in this photo I'm not sure so I just like to kind of just start I don't really have a rhyme or reason other than like I like to spread out the colors and textures and things um but I just like to just start by putting it all out and I will just move stuff around, put it different places. And like this, I wouldn't put, I don't know how well you can see, let me scoot you up better. Like for this, I wouldn't put two brass things next to each other. It's kind of like decorating really. You just kind of have to play around with it until you get it exactly how you like it. So, let's see. For this, I probably won't even use this brass bowl because we have a circle here and a circle there. And I just don't want too many different shapes. Or too many of the same shape, I should say. But we'll see. I always play around with it a bunch and try to figure out the best options. Okay, I think that's good. So I ended up not using three things plus the mirror, which is pretty typical. I just like to also only give like a little sneak peek. And then I will just take a photo. Kind of when I'm looking at my photo too, I try to make sure I'm filling in all of the white space because I don't want it to be too blank. Okay. Here it is. And then I will just edit this photo and then I will go on to PicMonkey. That's the app I use. And I will, um, you know, put words across it and that'll be my thumbnail. Okay, now I'm just going to clean up. I thought it'd be kind of fun to just show you the whole process. Now I'm going to, I'll just double check that none of these have their tags still, which I don't think that they do, but I like to just double check. Um, and then I am going to just put this with all that stuff I just showed you on the ground because now I need to price it and I'm officially out of room to put things, which is really bad. Just, it just means I'm really behind on things, but, um, so I'll just put this with the other stuff and now I know I really really need to do some pricing this week there's just a lot i need to do um and i'm a little overwhelmed but it'll be fine i'm i feel like summertime i'm always so busy anyways i was saying i feel like summertime i'm always so busy um with like on the weekends either with friends or family at the lake or just being outside so i feel like i'm behind on cleaning my house because i do like the daily vacuum wipe down the counters that type of thing but i'm behind on like a deep good i need a good deep clean of my house you guys see how much i need to price and i have a pretty large pile of stuff that i need to list like clothing and shoes and things not just home decor and i need to do my bookkeeping especially my bookkeeping for the shop that we just had and yeah i it's a lot and i just want to honestly be real because it probably seems to some that all i do is thrift all the time but there is so much more than that because you're thrifting all of this stuff but you obviously have to do something with it put it away price it sell it all of that so yeah i'm feeling a little bit behind this week but i know it'll all get done i always have to remind myself of that it will always always get done and It'll be fine. It's only Tuesday. I think my goals for the rest of this week is to get all of this priced. These are lofty goals, by the way. Get all of this priced, do a deep clean of my house, which I just ordered a new vacuum mop. I'm sure you guys have seen those um, it vacuums and mops at the same time. So I'm really eager to get that and try that out because I absolutely hate mopping. And so I want to do a deep clean of the house and I want to get some things photographed. So lofty goals this week, but I feel like I can do it.
back to the feeling behind thing do you guys ever feel like you're just doing dishes constantly i swear we don't have a dishwasher so i know not ever but i mean most people have dishwashers now but and i know that makes everything longer but i just feel like this is the cycle every single day all of these are clean need to put them away but put them away and another sink load waiting for me it's so dang annoying i feel like i've complained about this before i'm sorry but it's just very annoying and doing paleo doesn't really help because you kind of make everything from scratch so you have a lot more dishes but it's okay it'll get done and i'm gonna do it it'll be fine i'll show you guys what i was talking about about all of the things that i need to photograph um i did get a lot photographed and i told you guys this before I've been using Vendu to um, cross list, which has been amazing. I've just been taking the pictures and then uploading them all to Vendu and then writing in the description. That way I only have to write in the description one time instead of on all of these different platforms. So I've been loving that. That has saved me a lot of time and it makes photographing so much easier or so much quicker so i don't dread it as much so i'm not even dreading photographing all of this stuff because i know that my listing process is a lot quicker now um if you want to sign up for vendu i have a sign up for that i think i get back like a couple bucks for every person who signs up um but yeah let me show you really quick all that i have to photograph please don't judge me okay i have this closet full which was actually double this and i recently just photographed and listed like 60 things so this is progress this is just all from recent finds and then over here is just an explosion like i said don't judge me this is like the messiest room in my house these are all shoes and bags that i need to photograph and then up here is all hats but i will be able to get all of this and this photographed in one day um and probably listed in one day or at least listed on vendu so i'm not too worried about it okay like i said i'm just editing this photo i use the lightroom app it's just a free app and it's great for picture editing and i just make sure it's really light and bright and kind of matches the rest of my pictures and then i will save it and like i said i will just go and edit it and um, add the words to it um and then I'm going to sit down and edit this video right now. So I'm probably going to end the video here. I know it wasn't like super long or super exciting or anything. But I just wanted to give you guys a shop update. And I really wanted to do a little thrift haul. Sorry if you hear that noise. Again, it's my cat fountain. But yeah, the rest of the day is just going to be working. Going to my friend's house, like I said. Probably doing the dishes vacuuming that type of stuff cam is golfing tonight so i'm kind of on my own tonight and i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do so i will try to figure that out um oh i wanted to tell you guys that my mom lives on the lake and she bought the house two doors down from her and she's renovating it right now and it's going to be like an airbnb and um, she's gonna rent it out for the whole summer. But I wanted to show you guys, probably not in this video, but I'm as soon as the house is done, I'm gonna take you guys through it so you can see it all remodeled because it looks so good so far, but it's not done. It'll probably be done at the end of this week, I think. And it is just really fun. I thought I would show you guys because I know that you guys liked how I showed the transformation of my own house and I've been helping her here and there pick things out and make decisions on tile and things like that. So I will definitely show you guys that whenever that is ready and that will be really fun. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a great week. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.